Look like you're happy to be here. <laughs> I'm not happy to be here. Hello! Welcome back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we're going to do a 30 foot speed harness. Even though we're going to do it slowly. But this is a great harness for first date uh, when you want to really impress them with your rope skills and how quickly you can get them all tied up. It's not the prettiest, but we learned this one from our friends Twisted Monk, and it's a really great one to get a boy tied up quickly and under your control. Your first date? Yeah. Most people don't tie someone up on their first date. <laughs> not, not, I said most people, you're not most people. You're so much better than most people. How weird. So, first thing you do is, if you've coiled your rope properly, your bite should be right there. We're gonna do a single column tie on the wrist. So, basically you just bring your rope around. If you bring your rope up like this, Gift wrap it around like this. Bring this rope under. And just do a basic overhand knot. So, bring this up and around and over the chest. Keep spinning, puppy, keep spinning. Whoa! Right there. So, it went right above his nipples. Uh, bring it through underneath his armpit. In. And we're going to wrap that underneath the nipples, just like this. You're going to bring this underneath the armpit one more time, back around underneath, and now we're going to lock this top rope down. That way it doesn't slide off his shoulders anymore. Come through, pull it down. Go through the back, do the same thing on this side. Lock down that top rope. You go like this. He's locked. Spin around. The other good thing is it makes the date dizzy. So they're disoriented, so then you can really do anything you want. So here's the here's the last cinching part. Bring it around to the first rope uh, that you did on the hands, go around it, just pull it up, and now that centers the hands in his back. Go all the way around, and I just do a quick locking knot like that. Now you have a lot of excess rope if you have over 30 feet. You can take that and continue the tie but I'd rather have a handle, I'd rather have a leash. You are the And so it's a really quick, it's a really easy, nice and simple tie. We have a 50 footer right here, so we have what, 10, 20 feet left? Yeah, no, you have a good five feet. Yeah, so you could finish that tie off with like a chest harness or the shoulder, you could, you could do a number of different things. Uh, it's just a matter of being creative <laughs> and using that excess rope, if you have any, to the best of your ability. Just be creative. <laughs> and now your first date can't get away. You can do anything you want. How's it feel? Is it tight? I mean, it was an okay first date. You were a little, and while it might have started as the first date, it's quickly turned into a never ending date. A keeper. So, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is, I didn't think of that. Not so <laughs> easy, is it? <laughs> hemp. Because hemp rope is by far one of my favorites. And. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Makes a good gag, too. <laughs> and so while this episode wasn't super funny or crazy, I really, really want to show this tie. It's one of his favorites and a really quick, easy tie that anyone can pick up and learn. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video, a comment if you tried this out on your first date. And we'll see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye! What was our first date? Technically, our first date, you did tie me up. Thank you. 
So I sense your balls back on all four. Correct. Right. Ah, romance. Oh, I remember. Who it says well. romance is dead? You were wearing a jock strap. I remember it well. Was that the romantic part? For me, it was. Oh. <laughs> oh. When did it stop recording? Kidding. <laughs> <laughs>